Lions TV, we are six weeks into the summer break and still, other than Alex Pierce, no signings. In this video, I'm going to look at the possibility of players that are potentially going to leave the club. Could there be a turnaround? Could there be a change of heart? Of course, I'm talking about long-time Millwall players and products of our youth academy, Aidan O'Brien and Fred on your dinma. Aidan O'Brien is now 25 years old. Fred on your dinma is 22 years old. These boys are not getting any younger. But there's been a serious breakdown in relationships, in my opinion, very publicly with Fred on your dimmer. After he came back from Wickham on loan, Harry said he was unplayable in training. Now, all of a sudden, he said that Fred doesn't want to play for the club. Now, does Fred not want to play for the club, or does he not want to play under a Neil Harris reign? There's definitely been some sort of breakdown in relationship with that one. And with Aidan O'Brien, I'm looking at social media, and there's something not right. There's definitely an underlying issue. Let's start with O'Brien, because I can definitely feel for Aidan in this situation. Aidan done the business for us for many years at left midfield, and he wasn't a left midfielder, scoring 15 goals a season in League One. Then we get promoted, and the gaffer goes out and buys Tom Elliott. Now, in my eyes, Aidan O'Brien thinks he's a forward, and he's definitely not a left midfielder. Is he strong enough? Is he pacey enough to play as a front man? Definitely not for us in a 4-4-2. I've said it before, I think he'll be better suited in behind a front one or a front two. But I think Aidan O'Brien has got frustrated because after getting promoted, the gaffer goes and brings in Tom Elliott. Now, I am not a massive lover of Aiden up front, but if you think that Tom Elliott deserves to be getting anywhere near the bench before Aiden O'Brien is, then, then I'm sorry, in my opinion, you're miles off. Aiden O'Brien is a striker. That is his position. If you ask him where he plays, he'll tell you he plays up front. And he's become increasingly frustrated by having to languish on the bench and see Tom Elliott get on in front of him. For me, it's a no-brainer. Aiden O'Brien, products of Millwall, you can see and sense by the things that he says on Twitter, the way he comes across and he compliments other players and, and bigs up the club when we get a good result. You know, he, he's quite active on social media. So for me, a 25-year-old Republic of Ireland international that's Millwall born and bred should be getting on the bench all day long before Tom Elliott does. And as I said before, with Steve Morrison and Tom Elliott on the bench, it's just a waste of a sub. So Aidan does give you that same difference. He can come off the bench. He is the onion bag. He's AOB. He does exactly what he says on the tin. Now, for me, it's a little bit up in the air at the minute, in my opinion. So, as I said, I don't know anything concrete, but as you know, I keep seeing on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram, as I said, Aiden's very active on Instagram. I know the gaffer hates any sort of social media, but it's the world we live in now, unfortunately. Could there be a change of heart on Aiden O'Brien? Could we talk to Aiden, you know, and, and, and clear the air, or, or has things progressed too far? Moving on to Fred on your dim mark. As I said, Fred come back from Wickham because they had financial problems paying his wages. And Harris come out and said Fred's been unplayable in training. We've heard it for years about Fred. He's got the potential to do the business. And in my opinion, again, listen, and I know by no means Fred is the finished article, but he's, he's got creativity, he's got style, he's got flair. Yes, his end product isn't fantastic at times, but as we say time and time again on this channel, running at defenders, at pace, frightens the shit out of people. It doesn't matter who you are. Fred's got pace in abundance. He's got confidence on the ball in abundance. He's made a match performance against Leeds two seasons ago. We beat him 1-0 at home at the Den. He was sensational. We know he's got that bit of flair. And again, you'd rather have him on the bench and either Morrison or Elliot instead of both of them. So when Neil Harris comes out and says after the Bristol City game, last home game of last season, that these players don't want to play for the club, do they not want to play for the club or have they become increasingly frustrated at their opportunities in the first team at Millwall, regardless of performances from other people, league positions or the way the team's been playing and performing? I think it's definitely a lesser. Now, judging on what we've got, which is 18 first team players, if we lose both of those, we're down to 16. We need to sign a lot of players. We need to field a first team squad and an under 23 squad. And I can't see us, A, spending the amount of money we need to spend to get the amount of players in that we need, or B, getting in that many free transfers or loans. I think both these boys, Aiden's getting on a bit 25, not getting on a bit, come on, let's have it right, but in football terms, you know, 25 isn't young. 22 for Fred is young. If I was Neil Harris, personally, in my opinion, this is what I would do. I would bite the bullet. I would sit down with a pair of them. I'd clear the air. I'd get both of them in the squad. I'd get rid of Tom Elliott. I'd also get rid of Steve Morrison. And I'd have Aidan O'Brien and Fred on the bench every week with a view to bringing them on. We say it time and time again, you know, we haven't got money to spend. So, for me, it's Harris's perfect opportunity to go to Berylson and say, listen, these players, you know, you may not think they're great. The fans may not think they're great. But... We haven't got anything else. We can't afford anything else. So I've got to go with what we got. So in my opinion, Neil Harris shouldn't bite his nose off to spite his face. He should sit down with Fred. He should sit down with Aidan because 
although things aren't great between them all now, they have been at one point before in the past. They've both been at the club a long, long time. They both know the Millwall way. And for me, I'd rather have Fred and Aidan on the bench rather than have Steve Morrison, Tom Elliott. They can't be any worse than the likes of Ryan Leonard than the likes of Yuri Skalak. They're homegrown Millwall talent. So clear out the old shit and let's try and actually push these players on. Some people speculate they can do the business. Others say they can't. But we've never actually given the opportunity in the championship to either of those players. And now, for me, is the ideal opportunity with a dwindling squad. Did I just say dwindling? <laughs> so there you go. That is my opinions on Aiden, the young and bag O'Brien, and Frederico Onyedima. What do you think? Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm talking absolute waffle? Have a chat with me in the description below. And hopefully, listen, things have got to start moving next week. Surely, surely we've got to start some signing some players soon. Have a good weekend, everyone. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.